Today we're here to, to recognize those who have fallen during, during the Battle of New Orleans. We're here with the daughters of the British Empire and recognizing uh, the site where the hospital was for the British and laying a wreath uh, for the British and American soldiers and um, how we forged the friendship since then. Um, it's a meaningful thing for us, the Battle of New Orleans every year. And uh, we come to the Delaronde ruins to celebrate their life, really to save future lives from future wars. This history is so significant for our nation, much, much less our state and our parish. You know, without the victory here um, at the Battle of New Orleans, what would have happened to the Western expansion of the United States of America? And for Louisiana, who would have c controlled Louisiana through its reconstruction? So it's so important, and the history and the educational value um, for children as well as adults. I learn something new every year. And uh, it's just something that um, if, you're, if you're interested in why you are, who you are, and where you're at, this right here in this section of our country is where you need to be during the month of January. We find this site to be particularly important because it's important for both British history and United States history. Um, and on the United States side, Pierre Denis Delaron was a commander for um, General Jackson. And on the British side, it was the location of the British hospital and headquarters during the Battle of New Orleans and was where General Packenham and Gibbs' bodies were prepared to go back to England. We're very honored to have uh, so many distinguished guests here today uh, to celebrate. Uh, and, and knowing that people still care about preserving our history is so important. So we want to make sure we honor and thank them for their efforts. Welcome everyone on this beautiful day. I always say that I'm glad when we don't have the weather that happened on the day of the battle <laughs> because it wasn't a very pleasant day. And we have had some of those when we've done this program. Um, I am thrilled to have all of you with us and um, to, this is such an important event to me because this historic site really matters not only to Chalmette and St. Bernard Parish but also to the state of Louisiana and the United States. This site has history on both sides. On the American side, Pierre Denis Deleron was one of the commanders with, with General Jackson. And on the British side, it was the site of the British hospital and headquarters during the battle and was the location where Generals Packenham and Gill's bodies were prepared for return to England. So it's an incredibly important historical site. This um, summer, I had a chance to visit Antietam Battlefield. And as soon as we drove up, I was struck by the fact that there were acres and acres of land that looked just like it did during the Civil War. And so I immediately turned to the guide and said, how did this happen? <laughs> how did you not have any development here? And she said that the Civil War Trust started buying the land in 1890. That much foresight for saving that property. So it's very important that we save what we have here also. And I am very proud and excited to tell you that all of the brick columns have been repointed. And yes, you may, you may clap. <laughs> and we will next start working on some of the columns on this side to build them up, the ones that have fallen down to the ground. We also have some educational programs that we're planning to work on during this year. I'd like to welcome everyone to a tradition that was started a few years ago in anticipation of the Bicentennial of Battle of New Orleans. And um, we really wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't have the restored ruins of the Deloran Plantation, which is the only physical structure built by a man remaining from the Battle of New Orleans that was involved and in the battle itself. And uh, this is a very important ceremony we do. And uh, it's part of St. Bernard's expansion of the commemoration of the Battle of New Orleans. Prior to the Civil War, the Battle of New Orleans anniversary was a national holiday equal to 4th of July. It had that major impact on the national psyche of the United States. It gave this country great confidence. However, uh, with history, alliances shifts, enemies become friends, um, and the United Kingdom, which invaded Louisiana as part of the War of 1812 has become America's most important ally. They're not our oldest, but they are our most important. And 
while doing the annual wreath layings at Chalmette Monument, when the government was open, uh, I would notice that Daughters of the British Empire would be kind of as a side, on the side, all these other societies would be d having their events. And it, it, it occurred to me that while we fought Britain on the plains of Chalmette in January 1815, there were British soldiers dying beside American soldiers in the war against terror in Afghanistan and in Iraq. Neither of those countries were attacked by Al-Qaeda, but they stepped up and they sacrificed their treasure and their blood to fight with us. And I felt it was appropriate to not only honor the British, our friends, because it was the Battle of New Orleans that transformed our relationship with Britain. We were not respected by the British government uh, during, after our independence. And after this battle, it changed everything. And it changed our relationship. And that's why this event today is so important. Please remain standing as we will begin our program with the playing of the national anthem of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, which will be performed on the bagpipes by Mark Franey of the 93rd Highland Regiment. And I would like to invite up Mr. Tim Pickles, who was a part of the beginning of our reenactments that we've had and produced the fantastic bicentennial reenactment of the of the Battle of New Orleans to raise the British flag during the playing of the national anthem. Tim? For these events of, of, of this week, you know, I think back to when I was when I first became parish president. So much that I have learned since then, and um, you know, we don't we don't come here today to glorify war, right? We come here to save future lives from future wars, and it's so um, imperative that we continue to do these type of things in Saint Bernard Parish to understand the friendships that were forged from these wars that we've had in the past so that we can learn moving forward and uh, working together to make things happen for our citizens all around the world. But I want to thank all of our um, elected officials here, our state and local officials. Lieutenant Governor Nongasso, thank you so much. You've been such, so supportive this week of everything. Thank you so much for all you do, too. Senator Hewitt, thank you so much for coming. You're doing great things for us. And our two council members who are here today, Council Member Alcon and McCluskey, thank you guys for all you do. This doesn't happen without you. So welcome 
to everyone and our community partners. I know Shaman Refining is here today. Thank you guys so much for what you do for the Delorando Ruins. Welcome to the annual Daughters of the British Empire Battle of New Orleans commemoration at the Delorande Ruins. I would like to extend thanks to members and leaders of the Daughters of the British Empire, officials from Chalmette Refining, and Honorary Council for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Jimmy Coleman, who is not here today, who has made significant um, investments in St. Bernard Parish and all of the events surrounding um, the Battle of New Orleans. As you can imagine, with the shutdown um, in our federal government, all of the things that our employees at parish government had to do to get us here today and through the weekend and on January 8th. It's a Herculean effort, Katie Tomasio, Michael Baham, Henry Maitre, and all of our employees. So um, we need, we stepped up our employees stepped up to make sure that this um, event went off without a hitch. So I'm so proud of our employees for stepping up, in addition to our living history reenactors, to keep aspects of our parish's commemoration going forward. Thank you for being here this morning, and I hope to see you at other events taking place this weekend, honoring the memories of those who fought one of the most important military engagements in our nation's history. Thank you. And congratulations, uh, President, Bris uh, President McGinnis, for such a great event and all the activities. I think this is the third activity I've been involved in this week. They've all been wonderful. And this is so important to remember and recognize your history, if for no other reason, because you don't want to repeat it. Not that I think we're going to go to war with the Brits anytime soon, but there are great lessons to be gathered from history, and there's no better way to, to learn about history as a student of history than to experience it hands-on. So the work that you all have done to restore the ruins and the things like the reenactments, those are all really important things for our community to reflect on um, our past and to look forward to the future. And so thank you so much for your commitment to continuing to do that. It takes significant effort on the part of volunteers and of course funding to do these kinds of things. And, and uh, they're, they're so critical to the community, to our state and to our country. And of course, it's always appropriate to remember those folks, those men who gave their lives in defense of our freedom and our country. And so thank you again for a wonderful event today and I look forward to continuing to support your efforts and to do my part on the state level uh, to make sure that we can continue this tradition and um, commemoration. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. I would like to thank the parish president, senator, the council members, and as you said, your employees and team uh, do an incredible job every year at recognizing and um, and commending the, the war and, and all the great things that the Americans and the British have done. I also want to thank the Marine Corps Band. Uh, my father's a Marine, he's up there now, but I know once a Marine, always a Marine. And uh, my dad, whatever I thought, he thought I forgot the Marine Corps song. He would make me stand there before dinner and, and say it. So uh, it's kind of in the back of my mind forever. So thank you and I'm so proud of you and what you do uh, to serve our country. So thank you very much. And thank you to the Daughters of the British Empire for doing this and your efforts always. And, and you mentioned money. Um, we last year, with the help of the Senator here, formed the Cultural Recre Recreation and Tourism Foundation. And we knew with the budget problems in the state, many of these great ruins and historical sites all over the state, the forts, the state parks, uh, we struggle. And, and, and the older they get, the more money they need. So with their help, we were able to form the Cultural Recreation and Tourism Foundation. And that has allowed us to private-public partnership with investors in our state parks. To just give you one idea, we are very close to uh, a resort conference center on land next to the Fountain Blue State Park. 
one similar project in West Virginia in six years brought in $50 million to the park system. So as we do this with all these great lands we have across Louisiana, that money is protected into that foundation that can only be used for things to do with our culture, our recreation, our history. So although it will take a few years to get that money flowing in, um, our intentions were that while roads, schools, those things are so important, we needed a fund, not on the back of the taxpayers, that would fund uh, the repair, maintenance, and improvement of our historical sites, and that money will be able to be put away into that group that, that only can be used for those things. So a great opportunity. So don't give up in your efforts of raising money, but help is on the way. So thank you so much. You know, the Battle of New Orleans was fought in New Orleans where the Chalmette Battlefield is. And being from, as president of Plaquemines Parish, the, an important part of this battle in New Orleans was fought downriver in Plaquemines Parish, Fort St. Phillips. And as we restored Fort Jackson, after the Katrina flooded it, and then got it flooded twice more before I left office, our long-term goal was to take and eventually sheet pile and pump out Fort St. Phillips and hopefully one day have those ruins visited by some type of boat back and forth from the two forts. I'm not giving up on that. Uh, we're eight years further along, um, but I do think all of the historical sites uh, need to be preserved and treasured uh, like this one here today. I want to thank the refinery uh, for your efforts. Uh, even back when I was parish president through the recovery, uh, your company uh, has stepped up more times than many other people. So your company uh, has done a phenomenal job, not only for this parish, for the state, and I just want to thank you for those efforts and once again for what you've done here. So thank you all for being here and, uh, and everyone's efforts to make this day possible. Thank you. This is on behalf of Scottish forces. <laughs> farewell to the Highlands, farewell to the North, the birthplace of valor, the country of worth. Wherever I wander, wherever I rove, the, the hills of the Highlands forever I love. My heart's in the highlands, my heart is not here. My heart's in the highlands, are chasing the deer, chasing the wild deer and following the roe. My heart's in the highlands, wherever I go. Farewell to the mountains, high covered with snow. Farewell to the straths and the valleys below. Farewell to the forests and wild hanging woods. Farewell to the torrents and loud pouring floods. Wherever I wander, wherever I roam, my heart's in the highlands, wherever I go. I would like to call up Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, uh, Parish President Guy McGinnis, and Daughters of British Empire in Louisiana, Jane Caruso, for the presentation of the memorial wreath. It's always important to remember your history and the, the Battle of New Orleans was such an important part in the history of our country and uh, I'm really honored to have the Chalmette battlefield and the ruins you know here in my district and, and um, it's appropriate to recognize this anniversary and to remember the importance of this battle. What goes through your mind when you take a look at the ruins of uh, what still remains? I am terribly excited at the moment because we have completed repointing all of the brick columns and it was quite an undertaking with a company called Bayou Preservation Corporation and uh, everything has been meticulously repointed. 
hopefully we'll be here for another 200 years and uh, we will next be building up some of the columns on uh, the riverside that have fallen down to the ground. This uh, uh, hospital for the British during that war sits right here in the middle of St. Bernard Paris and as you can see we have it's in the middle of a highway, it's in a median. Um, people come to New Orleans and they, they take a part of their day, to, their day to come here and visit the battlefield and, and these ruins. It's so important to us and that's why you see we're here today and the upkeep of these ruins is something that we take a lot of responsibility for. If people have questions like more information about this, uh, what should they do? Uh, go to the St. Bernard Parish government website, all of the information is there. And on Chalmette Refining's website too, they, they uh, are our community partners as it relates to this ruins. So um, go to our website, St. Bernard Parish government.